Hi everyone, hope you're doing well from wherever you're watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, former Bomet governor, Isaac Ruto, who also happened to be CCM party leader, Chama Chama Shinani, worked with Raila Odinga in 2017 under the NASA coalition. And after that, when Isaac Ruto finally lost his seat, because he was defending his gubernatorial seat to serve for the second term. The next thing Isaac Ruto did, he decided to join William Samuel Ruto and the President Uhuru Kenyatta. For those who remember, when they called for a repeat of election, and NASA coalition decided to boycott that repeat election. So Isaac Ruto campaigned with Uhuru Kenyatta and William Ruto, especially in Rift Valley region. And so after that repeat election, when Uhuru and Ruto were sworn in, William Ruto got back to campaign. And in all this meeting that Ruto has been appearing in, especially when he gets to Rift Valley, Bomet County, Chama Chakazipet leader Isaac Ruto has been appearing together with the DP. He always got a chance to speak to the people. But in as much he was appearing, Ruto was still insisting that anyone who wants to work with him has to fold his party and join UDA party. He referred to any other political party as village tribal political party. But a time came when Ruto realized that UDA party was, was taking him nowhere if he seriously wanted to become a president. The only way to go about Kenyan politics it was for him to embrace coalition. And so that's how ANC party, for the Kenya party, Chama Chakazi, STP party came on board, among others. And uh, the other time, Kenya Kwanza coalition decided to sign their memorandum of understanding. But CCM party was not among the parties that were forming Kenya Kwanza coalition. Isaac Ruto did not sign anything to do with that coalition. Meaning Ruto had already knocked him out. So some Kenyans have been wondering, is Isaac Ruto still with the CCM party? Or he decided to fold his party and join UDA? <laughs> But yesterday, after UDA conducted their nominations, Isaac Ruto came out to speak on the way forward for Chama Chakaz and which direction he's heading to. I wanted to listen to him shortly, and after that, we are going to give our views. The interest of the general public that Chama Chama Shinani is in Kenya Kwanza coalition. And uh, we have stated that uh, since 2019. We were not in Nairobi because we really didn't have anything to negotiate on. Because for us, we believe everybody is free to contest elections. Uh, we are leaving our, our, our electorate uh, one and the same with the electorate of uh, UDA. And therefore, we see no reason to put conditions because we cannot tell UDA do not feel a gubernatorial candidate in Bomet. Uh, and they cannot tell us not to feel. We cannot tell them not to feel the parliamentary aspirants. Neither can we tell them not to feel. We cannot tell them not to feel MCA positions. They are free. All Kenyans are free to contest any seat. We are simply saying Kenya is a multi party democracy and we want to strengthen that. And we want to show that you can do nominations and parties can co coexist without any unnecessary schisms, without any violence. Uh, we did not interfere with the elections of UDA yesterday, and we do not expect them to interfere with our elections. So we expect free and fair nominations. By Tuesday we are through, and then uh, we expect to do campaigns that are peaceful for the next uh, few months. So we are urging the rest of Kenyans to ensure that there is peaceful campaign period and that everyone is free to campaign in any part of this republic. 
Now we want to understand why Ruto refused to join UDA party and by him joining Azimio la Umoja, what does it mean for him? For Raila Odinga and William Samuel Ruto. But before we go deep into that, I have a quick request. You might be watching this channel, but you have not yet subscribed. So my humble request, please consider subscribing so that any other time, once you release a video like this one, you will always get notified. Again, to all our channel subscribers and anyone who drop comment, I must say thank you so much for your unconditional support. Again, I'm requesting you to give this video a thumbs up so that YouTube can recommend a video to more viewers. Back to our discussion. Now, by Isaac Ruto refusing to fold his party and join UDA party, it was just for obvious reasons. <laughs> Isaac Ruto did not believe if Ruto really is going to give him UDA ticket to run for Bomet gubernatorial seat. He believed that he can be rigged out because Ruto is so much worried about Isaac Ruto because Isaac Ruto has his own stand. No. He has his own stand and so you cannot direct him. That is what D.P. William Samuel Ruto feared in Isaac Ruto. And therefore, by asking him to join UDA party, it was just a way to finish William, uh, Isaac Ruto politically. And so this is the biggest reason Isaac Ruto feared joining UDA party. Secondly, he has been all around with Chamacha Masinani. And as a party leader, Deciding to fold your party, it means you have been defeated. It means you have lacked strategy to market your party and uh, to bring that influence you have had before because definitely it was there in NASA coalition as a principle. So Isaac Ruto was not ready to lose those. And by staying around William Samuel Ruto, Isaac Ruto had his own reasons why he decided to appear in William Samuel Ruto rallies every time Ruto got to Bomet. He had a reason for that. Number one, he wanted to prove to William Samuel Ruto supporters and the Kalenjins at large that he has no problem with William Samuel Ruto. Such that if Ruto decided to refuse allowing his CCM party to join Kenya Kwanza coalition, then he will be viewed in the eyes of these supporters as a person who did not fight William Samuel Ruto, a person who Ruto has just refused to embrace. Then in return, definitely, since they will be seen as someone who has been dumped by William Ruto, sympathy will go with it. We have people who are going to sympathize with him, that he came with his CCM party, but Ruto refused to embrace the CCM party. So in one way, he will not be seen as someone who fought Ruto. And definitely, we have people who are going to sympathize with the Isaac Ruto. This is one of the biggest reasons why Isaac Ruto was appearing in William Samoy Ruto rallies. So definitely, when Ruto locked him out of Kenya Kwanza, we have people who will see him as a man who was just there. He did not fight Ruto. And definitely people are going to sympathize with him, even when he's going to seek for his gubernatorial seat. We have people who will see him, in, and even he might use that to the campaign William Ruto in Bomet. I was around, but Ruto did not want us. So he will be saying the people of Bomet were rejected by William Ruto because he refused the CCM party, which happened to be originating from Bomet County. And by Ruto refusing to work with the CCM party, it was just for obvious reasons. Ruto did not want CCM party to gain from the mistakes that UDA party was going to make on the ground during the primaries in the nominations. That is the same thing happened in 2017 between ANC and the ODM party. ODM messed with their nominations and that is how ANC party benefited from those mistakes. 
So Ruto did not want CCM party to benefit and grow within Rift Valley. Because we are people who, would, who are just fearing to go into UDA nominations because they understood that they will be locked out. So for that reason, it was going to be very easy for these people to join the CCM party because the CCM was going to be in Kenakwanda coalition and still supporting William Ruto. So in that way, CCM was going to harvest. Ruto was avoiding this to happen in Rift Valley. He only wants a UDA party to be the only party of the region. And now, on Raila Molodinga's side, by Isaac Ruto declaring that CCM party is part and parcel of Azimio La Umoja, this is a plus for Raila Odinga and even for Isaac Ruto. <laughs> Why? Definitely, in Azimio La Umoja, Raila Odinga did not have the face of Kalenjin. The geographical face of Rift Valley, the geopolitics. So Isaac Ruto is bringing that geopolitics into Azimio La Umoja. Second, the Raila Molodinga team will be viewed as a, a coalition that has the face of the entire country. Remember, Rift Valley is big. And the, the only individual who can bring this face in Azimio La Umoja is Isaac Ruto, because Isaac Ruto is a popular man, a man of his own words, and a very vocal politicians, politician on the ground. So that is the first Isaac Ruto has brought to Raila Amolo Dinga campaign. This will come with perception votes that Raila has been definitely accepted in Rift Valley. In as much as Rift Valley have a presidential candidate, there is still another political party within that area. Sorry for that, that is still supporting Raila Amolo Odinga. So that is a plus for Raila. And even this perception, definitely it always comes with real votes. Because we are people who are going to be convinced that Raila has numbers in Rift Valley. And the undecided definitely are going to go into that direction. So you cannot ignore Isaac Ruto. CCM party cannot bring zero vote. There is something they will bring on table. And uh, to Isaac Ruto as an individual, again, this is a plus for him because in case Raila Molodinga will make the next government, if Raila forms the government, and let's assume Isaac Ruto failed to clinch to Bometi gubernatorial seat, then he has a space. Raila will easily nominate Isaac Ruto into his cabinet. So he will not be in the cold like last time. He will be a seer somewhere. That's the truth. But let's assume again, in case he win the Bomet gubernatorial seat, still he has a space within Azmio, whereby I believe there's a possibility just to have the face of Rift Valley, Raila Odinga will give a chance to Isaac Ruto to nominate someone in his cabinet as a CS or a CAS. So still in that way, Isaac Ruto will be the face of Rift Valley in Raila Molo Dinga government. This is privileges that Isaac Ruto will enjoy. Now, I don't know what you think about this, but that's my view. So let us have a continuation of this conversation through the comment section. Otherwise, thank you so much for listening to me up to this far. May good God bless you and see you in our next video.